Hey, I'm joined in this segment with Ken Villazor, who's the CEO of Flower One Holdings, which trades on the CSE under the symbol F-O-N-E. Ken, how's it going? Good, good. Thanks for having me on. No problem. Glad to have you on. So uh, let's just do a quick little wrap up of what your company is all about and uh, what you've got going on right now. Sure. Well, we had the opportunity back in December to, to, to be here with James, but to, to kind of give everyone an introduction to the company. We're a U.S.-based cannabis company. Uh, we're focused currently in the Nevada market. Uh, I think what makes us really unique is uh, two things. Uh, we're really focused on uh, the front part of the value chain. Uh, we really want to offer, particularly to established brands that want to enter the Nevada market, uh, the opportunity to work with us as we basically will uh, produce from seed to finished product to fulfill at retail level. And so that's really uh, the opportunity for us to partner with brands and um, really gain them uh, efficient and quick market entry into Nevada. Uh, secondly, we're, in terms of scale, uh, we will be the largest cultivator and producer in the state. Uh, we're currently converting a uh, 400,000 square foot greenhouse uh, just north of uh, the Strip, about 15 minutes north of um, north of the Las Vegas Strip. And so, uh, when that's completed, uh, it will have, uh, um, in addition to the 400,000 square feet, a 55,000 square foot production facility. So that's one of our facilities. And then, just in November. Uh, we were fortunate to acquire a company called North Las Vegas Organics, which is a 25,000 square foot uh, indoor cultivation production facility, and that is a fully operating facility today. So we're already uh, growing, harvesting, and uh, and producing product in the market. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking a little bit off air about that. You've got the indoor grow going, yeah. and the uh, greenhouse grow. 400,000 square feet, and you were saying it's not something that's going to be done in phases it, what's the time frame we can expect that you'll uh, yeah. be harvesting so we started the conversion of the greenhouse in april of last year may may of last year really and uh in just a short nine months uh the flower one team has done a, a really a, a tremendous job so we're now at the stage where uh within the matter of weeks uh, possibly as early as next week uh we'll we'll begin transferring plant material into the greenhouse and uh, we'll begin a process that will be fairly, uh, fairly quick. Uh, we're looking at, I would say, um, once we're putting plants into the flower zone, we have eight zones, uh, it will only take us eight to 10 weeks to, uh, to canopy the entire greenhouse. So we will be uh, fully canopied uh, in Q2 of this year. And we'll do our first harvest in Q2 at the greenhouse. Wow, yeah. that's exciting. So and that's huge. Like people don't realize, four hundred thousand square feet is quite a quite a big one. Um, it, it is. It is. Yeah. So and you touched on it uh, before about your partnerships with uh, brands. You've got uh, four press releases in the last couple of weeks, and they're all sort of centered around that concept. So uh, why don't we just go through some of the partnerships that that uh, the company has created? Sure. You know, I, I and uh, you know, I think it's um, as you said. You know, we've had. Uh, quite a few releases in the last uh, couple of weeks. I think it's a real reflection of the team and how much effort they've put into this. Uh, so r really just to kind of take a step back, um, you, you know, if you're a brand that wants to enter the market in Nevada, uh, it's very difficult to do that because you have to be licensed to sell in the state. Mm -hmm. And then you really have to build out your facilities to be able to grow and um, generate the finished product. And right. so. Uh, we've come into the market in Nevada and, and really our value proposition to those brands is to say we can accelerate your market entry and we can ensure that you're working with a partner that has the volume to uh, and the precision to consistently supply you and ensure that you've got that steady presence on retail shelves in, in Nevada. So I would say four months ago the team you know began the process of uh, coordinating and working with a number of brands to evaluate who we would want in our portfolio of, of brand partners. And um, I'd say the last couple of weeks and the announcements that we ha we've had are just really a reflection of that hard work. So we have four that we've announced. Uh, we've done uh, Flight Concentrates, uh, which is a Canadian company, mm -hmm. uh, Rapid Dose um, Technologies, which is, uh, again, another Canadian company with some very innovative, with, with a very innovative delivery platform. And two California companies, Old Pal, which is quite well known. It's one of the fastest growing brands in the state, and uh, Palms Premium, which is also in California. And th that's another company that's more about the brand or the 
technology behind it? Which one? Uh, uh, sorry, the Palms. Palms. So both Palms and Old Pal are really about the brand. Yeah. Uh, Palms is a, a mid-tier pre-roll company. Okay. Uh, that's had great success in California. And uh, Old Pal, similar, but uh, they're really focused on package flour. Uh, so they, they offer, uh, uh, really when you look at the pricing spectrum, Old Pal is really geared to the value part of the pricing spectrum, uh, which, which has a strong market in California, and we believe it has a strong market in, in, in Vegas. I think a, a, good, uh, a good analogy is if you were to look at the, the Strip and, and the hotel offerings along the Strip, there's a there's a hotel property for every price point, right. and uh, we certainly think the the retail shelf space in Nevada will reflect that too. And and Old Pal has done a tremendous job. You know they're they're really a a, a fairly new brand. They're only a year old, but um, they've they've quickly very quickly gained market share. Uh, they have a, a tremendous team of uh, of brand builders in that company. Uh, they're 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 led by. Uh, um, an individual that we, we've, we've come to know over the last four months and uh, really like working with them. So we're excited to bring that product to the market. In fact, we'll have Old Pal in the market before our first harvest. Uh, we, um, we have quite a bit of strategic inventory built up at our indoor facility and so we're able to deploy that for Old Pal and really get them onto retail shelves um, hopefully next month. Okay, so the, the two uh, California companies, it, it's more about the brand and recognition, and then the Canadian ones, it's, uh, yeah, like the rapid dose technologies. Yeah. Maybe let's just touch on, uh, on what attracted you to, to those uh, two Canadian operations. Sure, so with, with uh, rapid dose uh, technologies, they have a, a, a unique patented delivery platform called mm -hmm. Quick Strips. So essentially, it's a quick dissolve, uh, thin film, that you, you basically place it on your tongue and it, it dissolves um, almost immediately. And um, for us as a company, for Flower One, when we look at our composition of brand partners, uh, we, we want to be sure that we sort of cover every product skew across the pricing spectrum. And then within those different pricing verticals of a value brand, a mid-tier brand, and a luxury brand, we want to be sure that we cover off um, a range of skews from um, package flower to oils to vape pens to concentrates to infused edibles to topicals and so what's really unique about uh, RDT's technology is you know there's such a unique platform in terms of that uh, product spectrum uh, it really doesn't exist in any um, strong way in the market today um, but we believe that type of delivery platform has a lot of value uh, it's uh, it's quick it's convenient it's discreet and when you think of the Vegas market where it's really difficult to consume cannabis because you're not allowed to, certainly in, uh, in Las Vegas hotels. Uh, that type of discrete technology um, uh, does allow you to, um, to have the experience and, and do so in a very discreet uh, way. And so Without taking up a lot of time and all that. It, exactly. Right. And, and so again, we know, um, you know there, there's, a, there's a product out there for every consumer. Uh, there's a lot of first-time consumers who really aren't interested in smoking a pre-roll or sure. interested in, in um, any type of um, smoke related product like a vape pen. Sure. And so um, it, it's a very uh, easy way, uh, an approachable way for a first time consumer to, to be introduced to a cannabis product. Is that, would that be considered an edible? It that? is, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. We, we, we consider it an edible yeah. um, in terms of when we look at our product spectrum and our offerings. Okay. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, the flight concentrates, uh, that's um, pretty much self-explanatory, I guess, they're concentrates. They are. Yeah. It, it's another great Canadian company. Uh, they've had uh, a lot of traction um, here, particularly in Western Canada. They've got a, a unique uh, vape pen uh, with ceramic coil technology. Um, and they also have a, another unique product, which is a, um, uh, it's, it's about the size of a credit card. And they have these 10 milliliter snap packs uh, which are infused with uh, either a THC or a CBD concentrate. Mm. Uh, you basically break that snap pack and you can take the concentrate and infuse a drink, uh, you know, put it in water and, and, and quickly take it as an infused beverage. Oh, so um, it's a great product. Um, and again, for us as a company, we like the idea of being able to bring to the buyers at the retail level, level a, a good range of products. And, and, and product skew offerings. Okay, great. And then uh, just finally, we were talking a bit about this. So the end game for Flower One is you sell to retailers. 
Um, yes. But there's not like a, a favorite or anything like that. How do you go about doing Right. So for us, we, we really view all of the retailers, the dispensaries in the state, as our customers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're not vertically integrated for that reason. Um, as a company, we'll basically uh, cultivate, we'll, we'll process, and we'll create a finished product, and we'll fulfill at retail level, but we won't um, get involved directly in retail operations. We've certainly been approached about being vertically integrated, but our position is um, we don't want to compete against our customers in that part of the value chain. So, you know, that's really um, important to us, and, and the opportunity in Nevada, uh, there's about 65 operating dispensaries in the state today, and that will, uh, that will double, uh, basically, by, uh, by the end of this year. So the state issued uh, about um, 65 additional provisional licenses in December, uh, just last December, and those provisional license uh, holders will have about a year to get their um, uh, retail outlets up and running. And so if you kind of work back from, from that timeline, uh, all, of, all of them will be, in, you know, essentially be doing their, their tenant uh, improvements or the, the build out of the retail, um, you know, likely Q2, Q3 of this year, and then begin ordering to fill to fill their shelves. And so, with that doubling of the retail footprint, and with us doing our first harvest in Q2, we think our, our you know we're very fortunate. Our timing is perfect in terms of being able to supply um, those additional 65 retailers. Yeah. So you're yeah. expecting kind of a sharp revenue increase towards the latter half of the the year. Yeah. But yeah. I, I you know I, I don't know if it'll be sharp, but I, we definitely think there'll be a noticeable increase in um, in supply requirements in Nevada. Okay. Great. Well, Ken, thanks uh, for coming on yeah, and thanks for having me. In. Yeah. Absolutely. So we hope to have you on again uh, some point in the future. Great. Love to come back. Okay. So thank you. Thanks.